The Steam Deck is the ultimate accessory to show off your real gamer status to the world. But even with all that portability, sometimes you just want to play Steam games on a bigger screen from the comfort of your bed. Enter the Steam Deck dock. I'm going to show you a trio of options to fit your needs and budget. And I got to say, I started off as a Steam Deck dock skeptic, but now I'm a true believer. This is one of the cheapest options for Steam Deck docking, and it's got everything you need to start playing on the big screen. The USB-C connector plugs into the top of your deck, and you get a nice little stand for your deck to sit in while it charges. Oh, but there's an HDMI out on the back too, as well as a pair of extra USB ports for whatever you feel like. The new Q is about as simple as it gets, and no frills at all, but really, what more do you need from a Steam Deck dock? It's inexpensive, setting you back 35 bucks, and it's so light and compact, it fits very easily into just about any bag. My one criticism is it does feel a little precarious, but if you don't have kids running around like maniacs or if you don't live in an earthquake prone area, you should be fine. If you're worried about compatibility with your Steam Deck, Valve is here to assuage all your fears. Yes, this is the official Steam Deck dock built by Valve, and it's honestly a really nice little piece of equipment. Inside the cradle of the deck itself is a nice rubber strip that prevents your Steam Deck from sliding all around. The dock itself is similar to the new Q dock in that there are ports back there for you to enjoy. But since this is a more premium option, you get way more ports than you do with other more inexpensive options. You get three, yes, three USB 3.1 ports. You also get HDMI and DisplayPort 1.4, and there's a gigabit ethernet port. In other words, it has just what you need to turn your Steam Deck into a tiny desktop computer. I'm gonna be totally honest. At first, I couldn't imagine a world where I'd wanna use my Steam Deck tethered to a display, but with all the options afforded by the official dock, uh, it actually kind of makes sense, especially for games like Stellaris or Civilization that are just too hard to read on the Steam Deck. But the ports afforded by the official dock are just the beginning because there's another option that straight up makes your Steam Deck a viable desktop replacement. This is a docking station. The JSOX docking station has two USB 3.2 ports, HDMI and gigabit ethernet ports, which makes it seem at first blush like the lesser of the two when compared to the official Steam Deck dock from Valve. But if you really wanna turn your Steam Deck into a desktop PC for $189.99, you can get the JSOX station with a one terabyte drive and a 65 watt charger. There's also an option for two terabytes or no terabytes at all if you'd prefer to drop in your own drive. Having an M2 drive isn't going to help much when you're on the road with the Steam Deck, but if you, like me, are enthusiastic about playing dense strategy and simulation games on a large television from the comfort of your bed, this is the option for you. Why clog up the internal storage with games you won't play portably anyway? Just install them to the drive and then leave them at home. Now. I want to be clear about using an external solution with a Steam Deck. It is not a wholly painless ordeal. You'll need to jump into the deck's desktop mode and muck around inside Linux to mount the drive every time. And you're going to want to shut down or restart your Steam Deck before you disconnect it from the dock so you don't risk corrupting the data. But after that small bit of hassle, it functions like any other external drive hooked to a Linux computer. And all that extra room means you can really go wild using your Steam Deck as a portable desktop computer. So there it is. Three options to fit your budget or technological needs. Are you a fellow Steam Deck docker? Or are you like I was and couldn't imagine a scenario where you'd actually use it? Let us know in the comments.